Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Air Gun Farm and I'm here to show you uh, one of the brand new Webley rifles um, that we saw at the last um, British shooting show. Um, I saw these on the stand, there was this and the its uh, smaller brother, the Cub. Uh, this is the Webley VMX Classic um, in a nice walnut stock. I, think, I believe they do other stock options. Um, but this one caught my eye. My, my first rifle was the Vulcan and uh, that was a classic Webley in its day. But this is a sort of modern equivalent of that um, with much the same features. And uh, I have to say it's uh, just a very nice straightforward brake barrel spring powered air gun um, that really does the job. Um, it's got quite nice chemical bluing on all the barrel and cylinder. You've got a synthetic fore end there with um, integral fibre optic sights, so you've got your red foresight there. On the rear sight you've got uh, finger wheel control and the green elements there, so fibre optics. And if you've ever used those, they sort of make use of any ambient light. Um, so in quite dull conditions, it's a lot brighter than just standard open sight, so it's good. Uh, it's a classic brake barrel configuration, so a little jolt to break it open and then you're actually compressing the mainspring when you're bringing the barrel down there. Um, it's one of the oldest sort of classic air gun designs, but they still um, have a place, and uh, it's just a nice sort of go-to um, rifle you can just pick up and, and enjoy using. But as I say, this also has got some performance to go with it, which we'll, we'll come to. Um, as you cock it there, I'll just fire this off, but as you cock it, so you compress the system, and you see you set the um, safety catch at the back. Now this won't actually, there's a safety mechanism inside so it won't allow you to um, decock the system as such. But I'll just fire that off. So when you're chambering it, you just chamber your pellet there. Push it nice and flush on the breech so you're not going to damage any seals. Close it up. Push off your safety. And I'll just fire the shot. Uh, these have got two stage triggers on here. It's a fairly basic mechanism, but it's um, a lot better than um, quite a lot of other brake barrel rivals that I've used. It's, there's, there's plenty of creep in there, but once you go through that, the actual pull weight is far, far better than my original Vulcan ever was, um, that's for sure. Um, so you've got an adjustable, as I say, obviously it's the brake barrel system, but what's quite neat is that they build in an adjustable breech so you've got your main bolt there which you can adjust and there's what we call a keeper screw on the side of it which is quite nice attention to detail and that means that you're sort of future proofed as far as any play on the barrel which obviously can be a weakness on brake barrels. Um, it's badged up from the old but when Venom Arms had a um, an association with Webley at the factory they um, uh, sort of put quite a few features in and, and the power lock mainspring which is still used here is a sort of throw over from those days that's marked up on the side um, so it's got a very responsive um, mainspring in there which is just a lot better than um, but some of the standard ones that they were using at the time um, as I say you've got the safety catch that's a bit reminiscent of the old Webby Amiga there but it's quite an, and very neat just push button safety uh, neat um, sort of hunting style, English hunting style butt pad there with the red tone and spacer. Um, straightforward sporter style walnut stock with uh, laser checkering. It may be a bit a little bit low on the cheap piece but it, it does the job and of course that's more geared up for the open sights but it's still a very usable rifle. The cocking effort's not bad and um, this obviously it's, it's, it'll produce full power. This on test was around 10.5 foot pounds but um, expect 10 and a half, 11 foot pounds, um, so you're not far off the limit there. Um, you'll notice a detail there which is quite neat and obviously a vital um, detail on a spring gun, but you've got a built in arrester lock there which is all part of the receiver. So you set your mount right up to that, and that means that any recoil uh, from the system isn't going to move your scope. And um, yeah, that's quite nice as standard. These are working out about 140 quid at the moment um, in this configuration. Um, uh, yeah, I've pretty well covered everything there. On test, I have to say, I did do quite a lot of pellet testing with this, and it shot well at 25 yards. It was grouping really well with uh, everything, but I can just show you some results there. Um, yeah, the Air Arms and uh, RWS Superfield, but we're talking 
um, sort of sub, well sub half inch at 25 yards and um, pretty good grouping with a variety of pellets so it's uh, quite a creditable gun. I was very impressed with this, um, I have to say so that's the Webley VMX Classic.